Tesla drops price of Model Y's more spacious seating option. Tesla has dropped the price of the Model Y's more spacious seven-seat layout option. Tesla dropped the price by $1,000, from $4,000 to $3,000 on Thursday evening. The seven-seat option gives the Model Y room for two additional passengers from the standard five-seat option and includes things like USB-C charging for those seated in the back. The seats are also foldable, so the cargo storage room is not affected by the presence of two extra seats. Tesla describes the seven-seat option. Model Y provides maximum versatility, able to carry seven passengers and their cargo. Each rear seat folds flat independently, creating flexible storage for skis, furniture, luggage and more. The lift gate opens to a low trunk floor that makes loading and unloading easy and quick. The automaker has tested a variety of price points for reasons it did not want to reveal during the Q1 2023 earnings call, but did state that it revisits the pricing of vehicles regularly and decides to adjust them based on market conditions. Tesla had originally priced the Model Y's seven-seat option at $3,000 but then increased the price by $1,000 several months ago. The automaker has the determination to return the configuration to its original price. It even appears to be offering retroactive pricing and adjusting current orders to reflect the new, cheaper price. The seven-seat Model Y crossover was made available well after the initial rollout of the vehicle. The seven-seat configuration is only available on a single trim level. The Model Y long-range all-wheel drive. It is not offered either the base Model Y or the Model Y performance. Tesla has continued to adjust pricing on its vehicles this year. It is now testing a new strategy of manipulating seating options to potentially see if it triggers additional sales. Tesla has roughly 200 Model Y vehicles in its inventory, according to Tesla data, which tracks the company's in-stock units. Tesla continues to push hard to reach its potential 1.8 million unit sales bogey this year, and it is on track after delivering nearly 423,000 vehicles in Q1. Tesla will continue expanding manufacturing at its Texas and Berlin factories, while Fremont and Shanghai will be operating at their expected levels. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati.